Hi guys, welcome to this Hyperland setting. We're all up to date. And we're wondering if we can install VirtualBox on this machine. Just gonna open it again. That looks better. <laughs> the logo was a little bit shifted up. And um, so VirtualBox on Telegram, a question, can you rerun it on Hyperland? What did I do? Update my system. I typed in Control T get nemesis you can type that too two choices at links att the result is a git clone creation of the folder data and th this is the git clone and inside a ur is something that i can install all kinds of things but here are the virtual box thingies and the vmware stuff and all that so i've done that installed that made a new template as well because we need to go to vms vga right so this is now my current templates. Let's go over it. So ArchLink64 advanced bidirectional at this point in time does not seem to work. I'll do a test in Plasma, which is I trust going to be the best of them. Enable EFI to test such a thing. 50-50, uh, yes, I can give a little bit more if I wanted to, but this is like more 50-50 processor all 50 50 here enable acceleration whatever display all the way up vbox svg vm svg don't enable 3d okay storage all good audio on and these are my settings for the moment right so i cloned this thing which i haven't done so remove delete all files i cloned this setting also a XL. The one I've built yesterday is going to go in here. Article 2304 for April. And we boot up. And then you be the judge. We'll test it together. Can we use VirtualBox on Hyperland? Well, we wait, right? I answered in Telegram. Hyperland will never be my work system will never be my main system to do my ISO building for example on right it's experimental it hangs from time to time software doesn't start it's fun it's graphical it's beautiful but it's not ready to be my personal system to work as a, on, on as a daily basis we can give you advice what not to do like Let's not go in VirtualBox, VMware and all the others. Let's not install NVIDIA drivers and try. But even so, if that doesn't work right, forget about it. There are 30 other desktops to try and that's good. Remember VirtualBox 7.0, small screen, got it? Yes, then you press right control, F, one, two, three, control F again. Voila, everything is the way it's supposed to be. 1920 on 1080 in my case and now we just um, go as usual we install either you have lots of knowledge already and you know what all of this is and what all these choices are or you say uh, no I'll do the rest later with an Arconix Nemesis script so you copy paste mine edit it and afterwards after a very easy installation that you can do in the mountains, in the desert, on the beach. So yeah, you don't need internet for it. And later on, when you're back at uh, online, let's call, let's call it like that, at a hotel, whatever, right? You're online, then you run your Nemesis script and say sudo pacman minus s this and that. Let's pause the video. No, sure, I can't pause because I am working on iPlant. So we've got this tool. We call it W Simple Screen Recorder, which is just an alias. So alias double simple screen recorder is actually WF recorder with audio. And you can't pause that thing. So be on the right screen i have to do it twice okay i can't live with that in the meantime i'll scroll roll to my plasma didn't update there 
If things are not working on VirtualBox at this point in time, in Telegram there is a question about bi-directional, drag and drop, right? If it's not working, it's not working. We just jumped from six to seven. So expect some bugs, right? Expect some bugs. Is it something we should add? We can add it, but I don't think it's anything we can do about it. But here is Plasma is here. Super F7 is not installed yet. <laughs> so that's that. So the same thing. I'm on Plasma on the other machine. Control T. I say get dash nem messes on Linux. That's downloaded. We call ourselves a data folder. We go to Arclinx Nemesis and we open up a terminal. And then we say open terminal here. Dot slash zero tap enter. And I walk away. On this plasma, everything will be installed. When I get back, I get for, I have VirtualBox on that machine. And I'll test it on plasma as well. See if the drag and drop works there because that's the thing right you need to with 30 desktops and they're all different and how will they react on a chdwm how will it react on awesome they're all different apps on different desktops and they're not built specifically for tiling window managers no okay let's include some stuff for some knowledge maybe control alt f many people still well i don't know they probably search on youtube by clicking up here those are probably what's going to be trillions of videos if not quadrillions right so no we don't want those we want to go to Eric Dubois, the channel of Eric Dubois, and this is my channel. And then you stop the video explaining who, why, why choose at Linux, right? Because you want to be an expert in Linux, obviously. <laughs> but listen to it. And then here you have the search, right? Trillions of videos, 3,343 on Eric Linux. But on i3, there is a past, right? i3 was on Eric also on Ubuntu, on Linux Mint. And i3 is still i3. And Cinnamon is still Cinnamon on Arch Linux or Arch Linux. So Linux, Min Cinnamon, all these things are relevant, are older, but are relevant. It's sometimes a workflow thing, not a not as much a application or a button or a click. It's sometimes knowing what to search for, where to search for, how to search for. So here's the search. Somebody asking questions, how many? videos do we have about conkeys right in total like 40 50 or something so conkeys is this probably the, one of the things that got me started next to the sardi icons and the surfing icons how to create icons because of missing icons on my system i said okay i don't like that one or two or three four twenty icons are missing so i started creating one to and off you go right so we got we've created lots of conkeys in the past six years ago already the conky aureola before there was aurora it's all the same right doesn't really matter if it's about our conkeys aureola i think it was called so these are my conkeys before arch labs before arc lakes right and before Aureola, there was Aurora, Aurora, right? These things are explaining as well how a conky works. That's it, workflow kind of thing. All kinds of tutorials that I've made in the past. So yes, I think conkeys are covered, really. In the meantime, well, voila, that's done. I can keep talking, right? And we just reboot and then we have a video telling okay it seems that it's working right virtual box on hyperland here's the test here's an installation we did all kinds of things like mess with 
with Windows and go full screen back and forth and Firefox. So, but it sometimes freezes over, right? It'll help freezes over, like they say. But that happens, and that's that's hyperlink for you. Let me enjoy my moment by doing another thing. No, that's not what I wanted to do, my friend. I wanted to go in here to open a terminal in here. Thank you. Stay in here. So, updates. Nemesis repo is activated on XL, right? Not on the others. Nemesis repo includes now some stump fun stuff. Wow. And if we if you got the Arch Linux tweak tool, you can add it. And this is personal stuff, so personal playtime for me. I created yesterday. The last thing I've created was an SS Grub theme. Many of my systems here, my motherboards, are basically SS. And if I install this, test, 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 you'll get this. All right? So that's another way for me to have some fun and for you to change your Grub theme. All right. Enjoy the clicks. Enjoy the learning. Again, if Hyperland doesn't work, right, guys, there are so many uh, desktops you're not missing out. Choose others and uh, have fun learning about Arch Links, Arc Links, OSs, Plasmas, Conkeys, anything goes. Cheers.